over the course of my recent YouTube history, I never felt so unsafe on this platform. Like, at least it's not just me, but it also facing plenty of other trans creators out there, especially the ones who are still in the process of transitioning, like me. And I have no basic idea how this amount of transphobia is permitted and protected under YouTube, while plenty of trans creators are being punished for much less. I want whoever is working at YouTube to HQ to look at me straight in the face right now. Look, honey, listen. Isn't it clearly evident that you're protecting a lot of the transphobia and bigotry just because you're holding the revenue of the platform sacred? Isn't that true? Because if it isn't true, then tell me otherwise what other reason here there is to let all these transphobes and uh, run freely on the side while we are getting punished for less. I have probably a couple theories here. YouTube is playing favorites. YouTube is transphobic. Or it could be even both. There's no denying there's a, that, that a lot of this transphobia is not just from transphobic YouTube viewers and users, but also on YouTube themselves. It stems from the incentive of earning as much profit as possible. What I seem to notice especially is that we barely we get any solid traction on this over this side compared to the other channels that spew hate speech and transphobia on a regular basis and remain unpunished. We had a video taken down by a community guideline strike for nudity. And let me be frank here, the video contains absolutely no nudity. It was just me making sort of lewd noises into the microphone. And that's going to be especially a long stretch if you can consider her to be even lewd. It's just me making funny noises into a mic. When I tweeted at Team YouTube, it took a massive several weeks to get into the final response saying that they couldn't reinstate the video because it had a violation of the community guidelines, which is completely absurd. First of all, like I said, there is absolutely no nudity in the video. There were, there were plenty of other fanboy ASMR videos allowed on YouTube with a similar nature. And even if it was still of sexual nature, it is still a bunch of rubbish because how come the rules are not equally enforced like this? Especially not just on the other plenty of lewd ASMR videos on the platform, but also on the transphobic bigots who not only create transphobic content regardless, but also comment with transphobia on that very video. The saddest thing is, I alone can't have the enough power to pursue any legal repercussions against YouTube for anything. I alone am not able to push YouTube into enforcing their rules equally for once and stop the blatant transphobia rage pain from going on. But if enough people see this spare video, and believe me, a lot of them will, maybe then it will probably signal a change on this platform. And if it is not on YouTube HQ itself, will be on the very people who consume it. Good night.